Okay, so the first test that we're going to start with is to verify that each noop site is truly anodized aluminum. Anodized aluminum is very important to create a quality heat sink for electronics. So one way that you can test to make sure that aluminum is anodized correctly is by scratching the surface with a penny. Because the copper surface of the penny is softer than true anodized aluminum, the scratch test should not damage the surface of the anodized heat sink. Some companies will try to fake anodized aluminum by just painting over top of aluminum, which is a much cheaper process than true anodized aluminum. So we're going to start with the scratch test. Looks like that held up pretty well, even though they have slightly different texture. Okay, and this one held up too. You can see the slight streaks. That's because the penny is eroding and not the surface of the metal. So we can wipe that away. So. I'm going to place my meter here, set it to ohms. Okay, so you'll hear a beep if it does have continuity. Oh. That's my bad, I touched a screw. Okay, so showing zero, zero. Reading open and several test points. And it is also showing zero continuity. So by these two tests, we can conclude that it is 100% anodized aluminum. Each fan has the same shape as far as the housing that protects it, but you'll notice that the fins on this one run vertically and or run horizontally, and these run vertically. Not that that has much effect on the distribution but the blades on the fan itself are a completely different shape. And we'll see how that affects cooling when we do the tests. So one thing I did notice is that on each light, there's a pretty large difference in the size of the lettering with the one on the bottom being from Noopsyc USA and the one on the top being from AquariumLowCost.com. Another thing that I noticed under some scrutiny and I measured with calipers because what makes a heat sink efficient is maximizing surface area. And the, the style that these used on their anodized aluminum to create the maximum surface area is the same. They have the same number of fins the fins are the same thickness and they are the same taper because I've measured them with calipers at the top and at the bottom. One thing that I noticed is different and I don't know that I'll be able to show this great with the camera. I may have to just post pictures is the angle of this cut and now we'll see the one from Noob USA and then side by side and it's clear to me that the one from Noopsyc USA has a larger bevel 
which means that it would have a lesser surface area because all of the other dimensions are the same. Because it cuts out a larger chunk here, you lose more surface area. And I don't have the equipment or the knowledge to say that it makes a considerable difference. I'll just say that I noticed that it is different. So next we're going to open these up and I've had one of these apart before, but I've never looked inside this one, but I'll start with the one from the USA. This is just a cover and it has a connector here. So gently, more gently than I did, take that apart. That one was kind of a tight connection, I bet this one's never been taken apart. So this fan is a 12 volt DC supply fan made in China, has the manufacturer here, and that's the part number. We'll set that aside and at the end when we're comparing side by side, we'll look at this um, fan compared to this one and see if we can notice any difference. this but really you can use anything that's kind of thin and flexible to pry your electronics apart. This just does it without scratching it hopefully. So we get that started and it just comes right apart. This is where I messed up the last time that I took one apart. So let me kind of explain. I'm going to remove the lenses And gently prop this up to keep that cord. You see the cord connecting the plastic to the metal? I'm going to try and keep that solder point intact. So right there. And now we have that loose. And you want to be really careful because this solder point right here is a big weak point. And this is the um, coax cable that connects it to the Bluetooth module on your light so that your controller will work. But if you do happen to break that in case, uh, if you're trying to take a lot apart, I can explain how I made my own version and it worked just as well. I don't know if this is like incredibly reflective. It's very reflective to my eyes. This cable goes to your fan. It connects on the board here, right before a capacitor. This is your push button for the manual functions of the light. Here is a three volt battery, which I believe is there to help retain the memory these are also capacitors. This is a capacitor. This is a capacitor. Here we have resistors. 150 ohms, I believe. And I'm going to take 
a picture of this thing up really close. One thing we're going to look at whenever I can take a really good picture of it is this. This is the brain, the microcontroller. This is where the program is stored, between here or here. I'm really not 100% sure, but I know that those are like your controllers. And then, like I said, this is the Bluetooth module. And then these are your diodes or LEDs. These are your connectors to each LED. Also, these letters correspond to the channel names that are like each color that you can control. This red and black cable here is coming from your 24 volt DC power supply. And that's what we have here. And I'll go more in depth whenever I can just take a picture of it. Go. Oh, I like that about this one. I like that its cable was longer and kind of tucked into the side here so that it I could remove this cover completely and not have to fight with it. So the fan it seems is separate from the cover. That's interesting. Thanks for easier disassembly that's for sure. I'm going to go ahead and take this one apart because I want to see if it has the manufacturer's logo or the part number on the back so I can do a little bit more research if I have to. It appears to be the same manufacturer. They are both DC brushless fan motors. And they have the mark that is like the American version of UL, which means that it's certified by government regulation. It's been tested. It's been approved. That's what that CE means. It seems that it came from the same company, just different fan models. With the other one, I'm going to kind of flip it up gently. Okay, there we go. So far, this looks the same. The coax cable connection to the board. That looks the same. I'm going to set that to the side. All of the resistors seem to be the same. The button, it's in the same location, battery, wiring. Seems like they have used a different heat sink paste here. It's not like a mirror, it's very bright the way that I'm looking at it. I hope you can see, but this is a heat sink paste which pulls heat away from this. I think it's a capacitor, but it may be a resistor. Not really sure what the difference is. Can't say one is better than the other, but I will say it's different. If you look at these, all of the numbers, we got 150, 150, 150, 150, 
those are all the same and 330 in the middle. So that is the ohms of resistance, which is really important because having a high resistance helps to regulate the amperage that goes to the diodes, which is the LEDs. And you wanna regulate the amperage going to those so that they don't burn up early. All of the components, as far as I can tell, so far look the same. Same button, same battery. The Bluetooth boards look the same. Got the same number of pins on this. This may be the thermostat actually. Same number of pins, same number of solder points. Okay, so it actually seems that the capacitors in these are different, different values. That may be important. Actually, the closer I'm looking, the more differences I'm noticing on the board. Here. And then here, all of these seem to be much further away. I can't really tell because of the way the light is reflecting what the, the labeling is on these. So I'm gonna have to probably just take pictures of the boards and then go over things step by step. But I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you don't mind to show some support by giving this video a like, uh, also, follow me on Instagram at Jepecky Reefing or at On Reef to Reef at Strawberry.